What's up, bitch? <laughs> Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and beyond! How are you guys doing today? My name is Adam, and it does feel good to say that again. We are back! And we're here in Nipple Hell. I don't know what this is, but presumably it is a game that was made for strawberry jam. I'm beginning to get very suspicious of this strawberry jam, it, some sort of game jam event, but I have not, I have not seen a single strawberry as a result of these games. Anyway, the visuals are made completely out of this person's body, although there is no actual nudity. I guess it depends. Our nipples and that nudity. I'm not really sure what. Just what? <laughs> no. Ah, there I go. I'm not really sure what is happening here. I figured I wanted to play an interesting game as it's been a while, you know, and. Most people would pick a popular game or one that's guaranteed to get those sweet YouTube views and pull them out of, you know, a, a hiatus of however long it's been. No, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's, it's the nipples, it's all about the nipples. Anyway, let's begin. I am this. I don't know what to call you. I'm going to call you Squishy because I can only assume that's how you feel. I'm leaving. I'm going into the eyeball room and oh no! No! What are you? What is this? What is this hell? Oh god. Oh no! What? Oh, it's a thumb. God, what is that dirty there? Oh goodness. Oh no, I don't like it. Oh gosh, what is this? Okay, okay, what is this? What is this hell? What is this hell? Do I fall? I fall. I absolutely fall. The walls are hairy! I don't like this fucking place! I think, so what I've surmised is, oh Jesus Christ, is that there is no God and I don't know what the point of this bloody game is. But you know what? I'm a bit interested. All the visuals are made from this person's body, so I can only assume that, I mean, I don't know because I think if you took all the pictures of all my bodies, wait, what? I think if you took a <laughs> I'm getting flustered because of all this fucking body hair. I think if you took a picture of my skin, it would probably look similar. Everything all looks a bit grody when it's all up close. Not being funny, but I think I'm, I'm sure your skin is very nice, but I'm just, <gasps> but I'm just a bit, oh gosh, that was horrible. Oh, what is that? I don't know. Let's finish the eyeball room. Was there even a, ah, oh, what the hell is that? Let's go pom pom. Oh, I don't like it. Oh God, all these, Tongues and business. Am I supposed to? Thing is, I want to find the source. Oh, Jesus. What? <gasps> I hate that. Why do I keep bumping into it? Why is there a bum over there? What is that? I bet they're just like little joints in. I think these are just armpits and just, just, just armpits that haven't seen the light of day for a while. Let's go in here. <laughs> I hate it. I don't like it. <laughs> This is so... Gosh, you know, I feel a bit bad because this is someone's body, kind of. But it's like, I'm sure if you did this to my body, it would look exactly the same and I'd be just as... <laughs> Let it end! And I'd be just as horrified! Make it stop! Oh, the bum again! Oh no, I want to go home! Well, that was awful. What could this one be? No! That's gonna be, uh, you know, uh... Let me die! Alright, well... This game is a prototype. 
And it's about summoning your demonic GF, so... What could possibly go wrong? Look at these trees! Boy, check them out! They're just... I don't know. They just look very enthusiastic. And blue! Um... Anyway, I would like to summon my demonic GF. The, the audio is entirely too loud, so anything could scare the shit out of me at any given moment, and I just don't appreciate that. I appreciate my bowels um, emptying when I am in control of them. Thank you very much. T-Y-V-M. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so preoccupied with looking around outside when clearly the objective is to go inside. Oh, look at that. I could... Hmm. It, it, oh, you've got a hole in your house. Well, you know what? Holy houses are the greatest and best place, the only place to summon your demonic GF. I like how there's... Oh. Whoa! Good lord, I told you. Ah, <laughs> it's awful, it's not finished. It's a prototype, it's not actually that awful. I can hear my footsteps. Amazing, well that's good. I've never heard my own feet before. If feet could talk, I wonder what they'd say. Wash me! Maybe it's what they would say. It's not that I don't wash my feet. I just don't think about it that much, you know. That is a person with a fetching nose. Yes, indeed, it would fetch. That is a high price on the nose market. That's immediately where your brain went. Oh, good, 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 great. The pentagram is all set up. I can start summoning my demonic GF. I hope my wife won't mind. It's <laughs> Mana's most beloved catfish. She loved this precious good boy like nothing else. We used to watch him shimmy around the tank floor for fish biscuits, admiring his cute and goofy face. It was pretty finicky getting him taxidermied. Heh. <laughs> finicky. Oh, cause fin. Cause it's a, cause it's a fish and it has fins. Oh, get me out of here. I actually like this. I think it's cool. It's promising. I like the lighting. You can tell it's like very, very early in development, and the actual final game probably won't look anything like this. But it's um, it's pretty. Snoozing. Ah! Mana saw this in a dream and found it in an antique shop the next day. It's not even antique. Oh, whoa. What? All that noise just went away for no reason at all. Was there ever supposed to be noise? <gasps> Who knows what's going on here? OMG! Mana summoned a sludge golem with a piece of this once. I didn't know we still had any left. Damn, it was a good day. Upstairs still has vile, decimated sludge cursing all the walls and ceiling. It feels like death is alive up there. Such bad vibes. But it's kind of cool. I'm not game to risk going up there alone though. What the hell? There's something upstairs that I should know about. Is there a demon upstairs? Oh, there's stairs up there! I don't want to go over there because apparently there's demons. I don't want to do that. I don't want to hang out with sludge. This is a passive aggressive warden against cursed potato salad. Blessing of odorlessness. Please remember to not leave potato salad in here for four weeks again ever. Oh gods, please hear mine, plea. Oh gods, please, please fix the clipping of this paper. Pill, pillo, pillo, smell nasty. Well, it's a bit eerie when noise just stops, isn't it? Ah, oh, these, the, the sink, the dishes, the di oh, I, I, I am the king of the world. I apparently climbed this. I don't, I didn't mean to. Um, I bought this back from my auntie's farm for mana because I know she's so into this. It's already dried above ground, but we still, what even is this anyway? Is it like a skull? Oh, it's a skull. Okay, well, let's go and summon the demon. I mean, my girlfriend, I think. Hello. Do I have GF plus? Oh, that's my fine background. It's the best photo of us. It's the best photo of anyone ever, actually. She's so cute. We're both so cute here. Oh my god, I love her. And I miss her so much. This was the last time we got to see each other before she left. Which one's the demon? I don't know. They both look so normal. Amethyst is Mana's birthstone. It stands for courage and sobriety. This one she passed on by her gra grandma. Definitely is so brave going to the demon realm alone. But I bet her grandma would be proud. Her grandma -na. Gran- Granima! <laughs> That's what I'll be when I'm old. Granima! <laughs> we picked this up at some kind of vintage goth occult, occult op, op shop. Why have I just forgotten how to read? And Mana was so definitely going to read this like right away. Mm-hmm. Sure, babe. She didn't. Called you out. Called you out, Mana. Divorcing you. I'm not even married and I'm divorcing you. Not even summoned from the demon realm. That's what happens when I jump. It's very sad. Can I please summon my demon GF? Or is it like, is it like you have to go upstairs into the, the grimy place on your own? 
I don't really want to because I have a horrible feeling I'm just gonna get jump scared and I don't like getting jump scared. Let's slip away an earphone like a right bitch. Um, as a sunflower too, it's like, you're not gonna get jump scared, but except I am, except I am. Can I even go up here? Oh, thank the Lord. I actually can't. No jump scares for me. Praise Jesus. Can I leave? No, I can't. I'm stuck inside these walls forever. Amen. Folks, I hope you have enjoyed these three little games that I decided to cover today. It's pretty fun to, to you know, to find some stuff that, like, has a sort of simple idea or concept and they're just sort of, like, trying to to carry it through. It's pretty neat. I would really have appreciated summoning my demonic girlfriend, though. I think that would have been nice, you know, sort of satanic breasts <laughs> okay look i didn't realize but apparently i have a smartphone and my hand is very demonic so perhaps i am a demon summoning my own demonic gf or maybe maybe i'm actually summoning the human maybe i'm the demon and i am summoning the human either way maybe or maybe i'm being rude to assume that those hands are demonic maybe she just has a sick fucking manicure going on and and maybe i'm the weird one either way i tried i tried getting this, this sh a, a, a sh list in the, the the this and my demonic gf has not come over so i guess i am going to cry i know it's been a while so thank you so much for watching thank you for coming back to the channel and watching a, a little uh, little old upload um from yours truly I've missed you guys, I love you guys. If there is some sort of content on my channel that you haven't seen yet, well, you go and watch it. Feast your eyes on the stupidity that I'm not setting myself very well, actually. Feel free to recommend games that you would like to watch me play, but absolutely most importantly, folks, take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.